money has been and I think it is the foundation of civilization over ages and over a long period of time we have so many case studies uh, one case study uh, is uh, the Roman Empire the Roman Empire was a, a very powerful institution for over 2,000 years ago almost 2,500 years ago uh, well, I think when Julius Caesar was the emperor of the Roman when the Roman conquered almost the entire world and uh, it uh, reigned over it and uh, during that period they had a very strong currency they had a strong currency that uh, uh, they had uh, called that weighed about eight grams and it, it was used for international settlements uh, uh, an equivalent of the US dollar today being the global uh, uh, the, 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 uh, being used globally as a global currency uh, reserve currency that is and uh, over time when uh, kingdoms are in power they always want to expand their territories they want to have much control over many other territories and they began debasing their currency because they wanted to spend more because governments like spending uh, in excess they spend so much so uh, the roman empire began debasing they began debasing their currency it was pure gold they began reducing it to about four grams of gold and they also had another uh, currency that was purely silver the silver was used for uh, uh, for local uh, business transactions and the case study is the denaria i don't know whether it is the denaria that is in the bible by the widow when jesus was seated next to the offering basket i think so so the denaria was uh, purely called 100%, but uh, because governments are greedy, they began debasing the currency, reducing the amount of silver, they began blending it with other alloys, with other uh, uh, metallic particles like bronze, they began debasing the value. And then lastly, uh, what happened last is that uh, life began very unbearable by, from their citizens, they were conquered by the barbarians and then uh, the barbarians took control and that's how uh, the greed of the government the greatness of the government the emperor the, the, the roman kingdom uh, collapsed because of the currency the the, the greatness to gain much control all over all and sundry and that happened another case is uh, the weimar republic uh, germany uh, world war one when uh, uh, Germany was defeated uh, in the World War One. There were so many; they had uh, they had acquired so much in loans to finance the war because they wanted to take control of their country of, of other countries. They wanted to win the wars, and what resulted is that uh, they, they they had borrowed so much, and uh, war, uh, after the borrowing, they could not uh, be able to pay their loans. And so, what happened? What happened is that uh, uh, the French and the Belgium did, they wanted, to, uh, wanted Germany to repay them. And Germany did not have enough money, so they began printing much more money. They began printing much more money, uh, debasing, or rather devaluing their currency. And what resulted is that uh, the prices went up, inflation was so high, when French and the Germany uh, wanted the, 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 to Germany to pay them, and Germany was unable to pay them. They actually went in, they invaded Germany, and uh, took control of their um, key economic uh, industries. And the government of uh, Germany uh, instructed the workers not to participate, not to uh, not to go to work, either. and they paid. Actually, they paid their staff they paid their people not to work to stay at home and what happened next inflation inflation was too high the price of bread 
which was about 0 13 uh, cents of their currency by the time, rose to 100 billion. Imagine 100 billion buying bread with 100 billion of their currency, of actually 100 billion in the US dollar. And now, inflation was so high, very unbearable, the cost of life was unbearable, and that's how the Weimar Republic lost its glory. And today the same things are happening. The same things are happening. These things that happen, this is like a, history is just like a circulation, a pendulum that moves here and there. And now, we, every country right now uh, is in debt because of fighting uh, an unseen, an unseen enemy. They say an unseen enemy in the name of COVID. Uh, in the U.S., for example, uh, people are being paid to stay at home. Uh, the UBI, universal basic income, you'll own nothing and be happy. People are being paid, governments are highly borrowing, inflation globally is too high in my country here. I recently, the cost of fuel, the cost of uh, gas went up, the cost of bread, the cost of everything actually has gone up. And what, 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 why, why do you think, it, why, that, why is it happening that way? It is because of the greedness of government and the holders, the holders of the monetary system. They want to control all and sundry. They want to control our mind, body, and soul. They want to control everybody. They want to control government. They, they want to control everything. They want to control us to microchip, or rather to, 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 to do whatever they want to do with our bodies. And that greedness is resulting to debasing the currencies. Every country's currency is being debased at a very alarming rate. So much borrowing, so much printing of money. The printing press have been uh, 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 put to work. So mu much cash is being printed. Why? Because of the greedness. And what will it result in? It will result in uh, it will result in inflation. It will result in the collapse in the collapse of governments. The collapse of governments, governments will collapse. And when governments collapse, because there is only one universal money, I mean not money, but one universal language. Money becomes a language because money is a language to measure value. And so when uh, governments are collapsing, there is coming another, cent another uh, alternative because man must live. And people must look for an alternative way of living. And that alternative way is that uh, there is a decentralization of uh, information, decentralization of properties, decentralization of control. For example, when the, the, the Catholic Church used to have a centralized ownership over the Bible, uh, centralization began. Uh, and now we have so many churches that came up because of the decentralization of the Bible. And uh, secondly, the internet has come. It has actually decentralized the dissemination of information. And so much is happening around the internet. And this comes out to, uh, to, to another uh, decentralization of now money. Money is becoming decentralized whereby we or me or rather you can become a bank at your own. You can become a boss of your own. And that is the decentralization. But now the problem is we need a currency that cannot be the best. We need a currency that cannot be devalued. A currency that cannot be devalued is the currency that now the world is looking for. And I, we have that currency in the, manner, in the, in the name of Kringles. We have that currency with us today. And that currency is a great revolution, a great revolution that is coming to humanity and mankind at all. We'll have a reason to celebrate because a currency is with us that will not be the best, that will not have controlled by the, the government, a currency for the people. That is the billion coin. With us today, it is. And it is a wonder, it is a wonder that the world will live to appreciate generations to come maybe hundred generations will live to appreciate this currency by the people for the people and with the people